pain in lower left abdomen causes and treatment pain in the lower left abdomen often results from gas but it can be a sign of a more serious condition such as inflammatory bowel disease IBD or a hernia treatment will depend on the reason for the pain people experiencing persistent or chronic pain in the lower abdomen should seek medical attention sudden onset of severe pain in the lower left abdomen may require immediate medical care this video discusses possible causes of lower left abdomen pain treatments and when to contact a doctor there are several possible causes of lower left abdomen and abdomen pain some causes are common common and benign while others can be serious and require medical attention often a person might use the term stomach pain interchangeably with abdominal pain but pain in the abdomen can come from other organs besides the stomach diverticulitis diverticulitis can cause lower left abdominal pain diverticulitis occurs when diverticula which are small pouches in the intestinal wall become infected and inflamed lower left abdominal pain caused by diverticulitis may feel sudden and severe but can also start mild and worsen over several days other symptoms include constipation or diarrhea fever and chills nausea or vomiting occasionally blood in stools Diverticulitis can cause serious complications without treatment, so people should consult a doctor if they have any of the above symptoms. Celiac disease. Celiac disease is a chronic condition that occurs in the digestive tract when a person cannot digest gluten. Gluten is a proton protein found in wheat and is present in several foods and healthcare products. When a person has celiac disease, eating gluten triggers their immune system to attack portions of the intestine, causing various digestive issues. Without treatment, celiac disease can cause long-term damage to the small intestine. Symptoms of celiac disease may include pain in the abdomen, pressure and gash, gas, bloating, fatigue, weight loss diarrhea a person should speak with a doctor if they think they may have celiac disease if they receive a diagnosis a person will need to avoid gluten to prevent symptoms gas it is natural to have gas in the digestive tract and occasional symptoms of gas such as burping or belching passing gas bloating or swelling in the abdomen typically gas is not a cause of cause for concern and will pass out of the body through either the mouth or anus causes of gas include digesting foods that are prone to releasing gas swallowing air smoking chewing gum excessive eating undigested foods certain bacteria in the stomach health conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome or ibs people can speak with a doctor if symptoms of gas are bothering them they have a sudden change in symptoms or they have additional symptoms including abdominal pain lactose intolerance a person who is lactose intolerant has difficulty digesting milk and milk based products such as cheese and yogurt this is because they lack sufficient amounts of of an enzyme called lactase lactase breaks down the lactose in milk which consists of the simple sugars glucose and galactose people with lactose intolerance are unable to digest all the lactose from food and drink an absorbed lactose passes into the colon where bacteria break it down to create gas and fluid this increase in fluid 
and gas can cause symptoms such as pain in the abdomen, loose stool or diarrhea, bloating, gas, nausea. Inflammatory Bowel Disease Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are chronic conditions that can cause painful inflammation anywhere in the digestive tract. The umbrella term for both conditions is inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. Crohn's disease is most common in the small intestine and ulcerative colitis occurs in the large intestine. There is no clear cause of inflammatory bowel disease but it occurs due to a weakened immune system. Genetics may also play a role. Pain in the abdomen is a typical symptom of inflammatory bowel disease. Indigestion Indigestion is a group of symptoms that affect the gastrointestinal system. Indigestion can cause abdominal pain but this usually occurs in the upper part of the abdomen. In most cases indigestion is mild and does not cause complications. Symptoms of indigestion include a burning sensation, slight pain or discomfort in the abdomen, heartburn, bloating, gas, uncomfortable fullness after eating a meal. People may wish to try over-the-counter indigestion relief medications. If people have other symptoms alongside indigestion, it may indicate a more serious condition. People will need to consult a doctor if indigestion lasts longer than two weeks or if they also experience black teary stools, blood in vomit or persistent vomiting, unexplained weight loss, severe or constant pain in the abdomen, difficulty swallowing, pain in the chest, jaw, neck or arm, shortness of breath, sweating, jaundice. Shingles The same virus that causes chicken pox causes shingles. Once a person has had chicken pox, the virus stays dormant in the body for the rest of their life. Sometimes the virus can reactivate, causing pain and rash that may wrap around one side of the abdomen. Doctors usually prescribe antiviral medications for shingles, oatmeal baths or cool, cool cloths for the skin may help ease discomfort. Vaccines are available to help reduce the risk of a person developing shingles later in life. IBS IBS is a chronic gastrointestinal disorder. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, changes in bowel movements, constipation or diarrhea, gas, bloating, changes to the nerves and muscles relating to the gut can cause IBS. Stress and anxiety may worsen the condition, so relaxation and regular exercise can help. People may also manage IBS with dietary changes, increasing dissolvable fiber intake and avoiding foods that trigger symptoms. Hernia A hernia occurs when an organ or other body part pushes through the abdominal wall. A bulge may appear in the midsection or near the groin. Different types of hernias can occur and they vary according to the underlying cause. If people have symptoms of a hernia, they will need to contact a doctor to determine the type of hernia and the treatment they may require. Symptoms of a hernia can include a bulge in the abdomen or groin, pain or aching in the hernia area, pressure at the site of the hernia, increasing discomfort when straining the abdomen. Inguinal hernia. An inguinal hernia usually occurs in the groin area. They are more common in males but can also affect females. Inguinal hernias can cause complications without treatment. So it is important to consult a doctor for a diagnosis as soon as possible. People will usually need surgery to repair an inguinal hernia. Constipation.
constipation occurs so when a person cannot pass a stool passes herd stools or passes stools fewer than 3 times a week it may occur due to limited exercise fiber or fluids certain medications or ibs can also cause constipation people may treat constipation by improving their diet exercising regularly and increasing fluid intake the main symptoms of constipation is difficulty passing stools and pain in the abdomen kidney stones abdominal pain is a typical symptom of kidney stones this mostly occur due to a calcium build up and can form in either the right or left kidney a person may not realize they have a kidney stone until it causes issues such as blocking part of the kidney or causing severe pain as it passes intestinal obstruction when a blockage occurs in the intestine food cannot pass through the digestive tract this results in an obstruction that needs immediate medical attention hernias and medical conditions affecting the intestines can lead to intestinal obstruction people with conditions such as ibd or colon cancer or who have had abdominal surgery may be more at risk of intestinal obstruction a person will need to contact a doctor straight away if they have this symptoms of intestinal obstruction severe abdominal pain inability to pass stool swollen abdomen vomiting loud noises from the stomach ectopic pregnancy an ectopic pregnancy can occur if a fertilized egg grows outside the uterus usually in a fallopian tube as the pregnancy progresses this can cause the fallopian tube to burst which can be life threatening symptoms of ectopic pregnancy include mild pain or cramping in the abdomen or pelvis lower back pain irregular vaginal bleeding these symptoms can develop into sev into severe abdominal or pelvic pain shoulder pain and dizziness ectopic pregnancy is an emergency and people will require immediate medical attention endometriosis endometriosis is a common condition that can affect females endometriosis occurs when tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows in other areas endometriosis may occur due to menstrual cycle issues genetic factors or problems with the immune system the main symptom of endometriosis is pain which can include menstrual cramps pain in the abdomen and pain in the lower back and pelvis hormone treatments and in severe cases surgery can help manage endometriosis symptoms treatment the type of treatment will depend on the condition causing the pain a person can speak with a doctor to determine suitable treatment for their condition lower left abdominal pain due to an infection such as diverticulitis will often require medications and resting as treatment other more structural issues such as a hernia or an intestinal blockage may require surgery treatment for constipation and gas often includes basic dietary adjustments and in severe cases laxatives for more chronic lower abdominal pain such as the pain in ibs or ibd more careful long term dietary management can help to manage symptoms treatment for food intolerances such as lactose intolerance often involves excluding that food from the diet when to contact a doctor people should speak with a doctor about any abdominal pain that is persistent or severe or if they have concerns about any symptoms people will also need to consult a doctor if they have blood in stools persistent diarrhea constipation or change in bowel movements unexplained weight loss
A doctor will need to examine chronic or persistent pain to determine, determine the underlying cause and develop a treatment plan.